Today we're going to capture on tape the filming of prior slaying sloths out in the west, western United States at a location called the Pariah Movie Set in Pariah Townside, an old abandoned town that uh, existed in the early 1800s, turned into a movie site uh, for the likes of Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Peter Lawford, Sammy Davis, and Joey Bishop. Well, today, there's two stars only. Me and me. And the other guy, well, they call him the Sloth. Well, I'm tracking a whole family of desert sloths. I do believe that back in that canyon there, I'll find the whole family and just once and for all destroy this desert sloth organization hanging out here because they're trying to put an end to my survival. My trip to Texas so I can see my family and I'm going to put an end to these little desert sloths once and for all. There's some footprints right now. These are pretty easy. I learned a lot from that Tom Brown guy how to track. Even these guys go across rocks. I'll find them. So don't attempt this at home, people. Not unless you've watched a couple of seasons, because we're on the second season, of The Living Outrageously by Dave Thompson and Matt Kelly. And people, these guys, this, these uh, of sloths, they can be hiding anywhere. I mean, there's a whole family back here. I've, I've, I've tracked at least 16. Well, they could have been, maybe they're four-footed, so maybe there's only four of them. But anyhow. I've got a bunch of them up here, people, and tune in to the Dave Thompson, Matt Kelly show, Living Outrageously. Get your free Audible book. Learn how to slay these sloths. I'm going to show you more footage here. I'm coming up close to one now. I feel it. Okay, people, I have to be very quiet because I've spotted the most dangerous sloth of all, the do-nothing sloth. He's right in the middle of the pathway here, of course, because he doesn't want you to move forward. If this sloth gets a hold of you or me or anyone, you will live your life doing nothing, as you've always done. You'll never leave your house. You'll never amount to anything. Your dreams will never come true. This is the sloth that says you can't do it. This is the sloth that says your family says you can't do it. Your friends say you can't do it. Anyhow. I'm going to put an end to this sloth and kill him because this is what Dave and Mike would do it on us to do now. Kill him. Oh, you're dead. In the desert, a sloth can look like this. Yep. And you know what we do to, de to desert sloths? We stomp them. Okay, I've come across an extremely evil sloth. I hate to say it, people, but this is the prick of all sloths. This guy right here is the one that says you screwed up. You put your blood, sweat, and tears into this project, and you're not going to finish it because you can't. You've run out of money. You've run out of ideas. You're failing. Well, you know what I say to this sloth, this most evil, screwed-up sloth of all? Take this, buddy, because you're dead. You're all the way dead. Ah! You are so dead, I don't want to hear your voice again. That's how dead that sloth is. Desert sloth, get him! I've come across a family of sloths living in caves, hiding in wait. There's one up there at the top, one down here, and one over here. These are the sloths that wait for you at night. These are the habitual sloths, the ones that watch how you how you carry out your life. Now, this lower one here, I'm gonna have to go in the caves. You probably won't be able to get to see these sloths because that's uh, they're hiding out in there. I'm gonna to, I won't be able to film in there. But this lower sloth, he attaches a, a string to this bigger red rock over here at night because he knows you'll take the, the path of least resistance. And that's clearly through here. And that's how he'll get you. But I'm not going to be had by him tonight. This upper guy on the top, he works on your mind. He's the guy that says, Eh, you've got bad. You, can't, you, you don't have enough money to do this. You know, you got bad ideas. And, he works on, you know, on, on your habits too. You know, like say you've got a bad sore foot, you can't you can't walk a hundred miles. You know, you've got uh, you got some disease or something. I don't know what it. He's always fooling with your mind. That's him. I'm gonna get him today. This other sloth, 
Not sure what he does, but there's just three of them here, and I'm going to go ahead and get them right now. Okay, there's there's way too many uh, sloth sloths here. There's another cave there. We've got another cave right over here. I, I'm going to have to leave this area. There's a huge cave in the far back distance. I can't see it right now, but uh, yeah, see, there it is. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to have to call on my living outrageously family because sometimes you can't do these things alone. I'm out here by myself. You need a network of friends, network of supporters. You need to tune in. I can't get any reception out here. I might. I better get back to my truck before I miss out on the next episode of Living Outrageously. Till till then, la vida's day.